All right, guys, on your board, D'Anthony, I'm my boy, Don, my what boy, C-Jack over here. And we just came back from seeing Fate of the Furious. Yeah. And I'm going to have to just say, right now, I'm going to take a stand here and say, a stand. I'm so okay. Yes, I'm taking a stand because no one's going to be with me on this. I'm so okay no, with Paul Walker not being in the movies. You're about to smell <laughs> the back of my candy! Oh, <laughs> Okay, I did deserve that. <laughs> I don't understand. I just watched the movies for uh, Vin Diesel. That's all I'm trying to say. Oh, man. But it was there are some homages to him, and I did appreciate that. I thought it was very respectful to him and the family. So that's just my personal opinion, but I'm glad they did what they did. C-Jack is about to lay a the smack it down on this candy ass. <laughs> all right, so let's get, in, let's get into it. Uh, so we got pretty much the original cast back. It's minus one, but minus one plus two. Right, no <laughs> plus two, something like that. Yeah. Jason Statham part of the team now. Uh, hey, we'll, we'll get into that. Bit. We'll get into <laughs> that. Um, but we got the Rock back. Um, we got Vin Diesel. Um, we got, we got Tyrese, Tyrese, Ludacris, 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 Ludacris um, Michelle Rodriguez, Michelle Rodriguez. Yep. Yeah. So they're pretty yeah. much all back. Charlie Theron. Yeah, new villain. <laughs> new, new villain. Um, what you guys think? This is uh, you know, I thought I it was excited. dope. Yeah, I was really excited. I was really pumped. You know, anytime one of these Fast and Furious movies comes out, I'm like thinking to myself, there's nothing they can do that beats like the one previously. Um, you know, right, even yeah, though like yeah. you know, number five is still like really stand out for me, but yeah, they still amp it up for some some stunts and everything that they do. Yeah, I'm always waiting. I'm always waiting for really them to cool. fail. Like, okay, this one's gonna <laughs> suck. Yeah. Okay, here's this one. It's the it's seventh one, eighth one. Oh, it's gonna suck. Right. <laughs> and it never does. No, it doesn't. Oh, it never does. They did fail once. <laughs> they fell more. That's why than the once. reason I have not seen all the other ones. I actually. I'm the outsider on this one. I haven't seen the past couple since three because three just sucks. Okay, anytime, okay, let's just address this right now. Part three had Bow Wow in it. Any movie has Bow Wow. You can't take series, okay? But he had a Hulk car. Medina. Bro. So there. So well, anyways, after part eight, coming back into the yeah. mix, I'm more intrigued about the past movies, and I want to watch all of them because. This movie was pretty bomb, and I didn't want to watch it in D-Box, because I was like, D-Box is not worth it, guys. I didn't, no, no. D-Box was definitely worth it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Loved it. Yeah. yeah, it was like sitting in there, and like, I when the cars were revving, I'm just sitting there going like, oh, shoot, yeah. like, where's the stick shift? I'm ready to go. Like, right, yeah. It was good. It was I, good. I honestly had my hand on, like, right here on the seat, and I'm yeah, like, I drive a stick shift, so I'm sitting there like, dude, just like, <laughs> all right, let's go. Right. Yeah, I think, uh, shout out to Cinemark for Cinemark. D-box. You're doing D-box. it right. You're doing it right. I love that. I appreciate it. We only go to, see, to, to Cinemark, so if you guys got a yeah. Cinemark near you, go check out the D-Box. Highly recommend it. You're gonna like it for sure. Um, so what do you think about this villain? Was it a good villain? Did she do a good job? I thought it was a pretty good villain, you know? They're, they're doing a whole, like, uh, they're making a lot of these villains a lot more technical, you know? Because Mm -hmm. our world is turning into everything Mm -hmm. run by computers, so you go after the computers, it's kind of like the hive mind kind of thing, but in a different way, you know? Because you still gotta be smart. There's only one song that comes to mind when I think of this, this woman. I love Shirley Theron, but... In this movie, she was a cold-hearted bitch. I'm sorry, she was horrible. Yes. <laughs> On film. Oh man. Um, yeah, no, she was straight up just cold, man. Like I, and even just the, her facial expressions, the way she interacted, she was just cold. And I'm like, so I wonder what would happen. I thought she brought the a right amount of energy. Oh yeah. To all this uh, masculinity. Right. Mm-hmm. She she brought the right amount of energy for yeah. it. I thought she did a good job. Yeah, she cut him down a notch. So. I would have. I, I was scared of her. Like I'm like I hope I never bump into a woman like that ever again. Like, I want to pee my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Um, what do you guys think about this whole twist with Dom? Being on the bad side this time. Yeah, you know, um, it, it was kind of predictable. When he, when you get to that, like, I kind of, like, just watching the trailer, like, you just see him being a bad guy. And it's mm-hmm. like, hmm, okay, she must have some stuff on him. Yeah, yeah. And sure enough, that's what it turns that. out. Yeah, yeah, we already knew that. We already knew the outcome. It was going to flip <clears throat> eventually. But it was predictable, but it was brilliant in the fact that like when it happened and how it happened and everything else you're just like yeah, yeah. Like, and, and for the yeah. reason that he flips you know yeah. that that's that's pretty unique i didn't see that coming yeah you know? yeah yeah, yeah. I, I didn't either that was actually a good a good reason we won't tell you but yeah. it was a great reason for him to flip more reason for you to watch yeah yeah right i thought that maybe his current girlfriend 
his current girlfriend was going to be something. Would be like Letty? upset? Yeah. Yeah. Letty, yeah, yeah. yeah. Letty. I thought she would be more upset. Yeah, yeah. But she was just like, huh? Nah, at this point, family. you know. Well, see, that, yeah. That's what I love. That's what I love about their relationship. Like, I'm watching this movie thinking the same thing. But I'm like, no, she's a real woman. Mm-hmm. Like, she freaking, she knew it. And she, yeah. she she just didn't challenge him on that. She knew it the whole time. She was just waiting because she knew. And that, I loved that. I was like, yes, married. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Ride or die. Yeah. Uh, that, that kiss was just as crucial as the trailer made it. It was just as crucial. Yeah. Uh, that whole, pretty much that whole scene was pretty dope, actually. Yeah. yeah the whole Action was thing. great. Um, mm-hmm. The... Jason Statham versus The Rock. Rock. Oh my god. Oh. It was funny. The whole thing was funny. I love it. It was like Tweedledee and Tweedledum. It was great. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He went back to like The Rock from WWE when he was like locked up yeah. talking to him. And he was like, <laughs> I will kick your candy ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was pretty epic. Yeah, you, know? yeah, you got that yeah. presence yeah. of The Rock. Yeah, I just yeah. like the diversity between the both of them because they both hit hard, but they, Jason Statham was more of like the, the, the parkour dude. Yeah. Rock was more like, I'm just going to break. Break through the wall, like I'm yeah. Saying. He's right, such right, a brute, right, like right. dude. He, <laughs> he is he's jacked. a superhero. He's yes. a superhero, you know. He truly uh, this is. is too, yeah. This isn't really. I don't know, it's really a sport, but he freaking pulls out the cement bench and just is like, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna come over there. I'm gonna <laughs> beat you down tonight. <laughs> beat you like a turkey. I'm like, he just broke out the cement cement bench. Like, wow. Yeah, yeah. that's a pretty cool scene. I, I I think they're all. Have superpowers. They should just come out and say, right. we are some type of mutants of some sort yeah. because nothing hurts them. It turns out all yeah. the adrenaline they're gonna has be just like pumped war. us up. <laughs> they should be. War. Like, totally be- <laughs> yeah. Man, like, they could definitely fight at least Daredevil. I can, I can see that. Like, right. They're just, on that level at least. Yeah, they're defenders at this Dare- point. Right. <laughs> Man, nothing kills them. Doesn't matter what happens. No. Let me let me uh, bail out of this moving vehicle. <laughs> Everyone okay? Everyone okay? <laughs> We're having drinks after this, right? <laughs> no scratches on his elbow. He's in a tank top. Yeah. Jumps out of a damn moving car. Rolls and like we good. He here? just pops up. <laughs> good here. I won. Just... <laughs> right, right. It's exactly, what it's exactly what happened. Give me them keys. But it doesn't take away from the movie though. Which I still enjoyed it. It's just like, come on. Come yeah. On. It's like something. Okay. No, no, but I mean, after seeing it for, you know, as many times as it's happened, you know, it's just like kind of, okay, well, I'm not surprised, but let's go continue. (laughs) And uh, the scenes are really nice. I mean, like, really, like the the beginning of the movie is what I, what really drew me in is them them being in Cuba and then the whole like scene, it it was really dope. Like you can tell that they filmed there. It goes back to his roots. You know, he has, like, family out there, yeah, right, and, like, right. it, it really, to me, it pretty much ties in, like, how much he cares about family. He's going to, mm-hmm. you know, his homeland, yeah. has a cousin there, mm-hmm. you know, puts his own stuff on the line for his cousin, and, you know, I thought it was good. It was a good, like, little reintroduction to the family. Yeah. Right, right. Oh, definitely. Mm-hmm. Got a little Go bit back of to the core. Go back to the core. Right. So, what, if, Tyrese... Was funny. Oh it was funnier God. than the other ones. I feel. I, you yeah. know what? Some of the things that he does, like I don't think they're scripted. Like I think that he just like improvs it a lot of the time because he's just hilarious. And he's just saying what like is really on his mind. Like, yeah. no, I don't right. want to do this. Yeah, like right. uh, there, there was that scene where Letty bumped that other uh, chick, and then oh, he was yeah. just like. You just gonna let her bump her? You just gonna be like that? Like, right. damn, I guess bumper. so. <laughs> like, dang. It's like, what are you doing over there? Are you gonna write her an email or something? <laughs> right, right. He's right. like, okay, check. <laughs> right. I was like, man. I think he was like trying to step up since uh, Paul Walker wasn't there. I feel like uh, they let him have a bigger role. Yeah. And I mean, it's eight of them, so yeah. like, someone has to step up. Yeah. I thought that's what what they were really doing, you know? So, and being that they were probably like the closest. Right, right. Um, I feel like that was a good homage to. Oh yeah, definitely. I, th- I definitely love how they they definitely pay their the respects. Like they do in the movies, you know, it's it's kind of cool because Brian's still alive, so it's, Paul Walker is still alive in these movies, and I guess that's that's really cool because I've just never seen that in another movie before or any fictional movie before where they actually kind of like when an actual actor dies, they keep that presence alive in the film. Like th- that's awesome. That's a good point. Um, which leads me to the next thing. What do you guys feel about not having Paul Walker in the movie? Was he like, did it take away from the movie at all? I, I definitely had a sense that there was something missing. Um, there was like a element in there that he brought to the table. You know, he he's this undercover FBI agent, you know, and even in the previous movies, you know, he's always 
played that, um, I don't know, uh, agent or police officer type of role. You know, he, he, he brought some type of strategy to them, to the group, mm -hmm. you know, and they had to they had to come up with a plan to still rebuttal that, to, to fill that gap. And I think that's where actually um, Ludacris and then we had uh, the new girl, Ramsey. Yeah. Um, so both of them, they're very technical. Yeah. And I think that they were able to like bring them two together to partner up, which was actually pretty nice. They let them shine a little bit more. So yeah, the, I did feel a lack of, you know, you know, Paul Walker, Brian, he's not in here anymore, but it didn't fully take away from the movie. Now I might get a lot of flack for this, but you guys know how I am. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm from, from, from them, not you. Wait, let me go get my car. <laughs> Um, honestly, I never really liked them in the movies. They was to me. I was, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I was only watching it for Vin Diesel. Stay for I, the end scene on this because you're gonna see me and Don just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just didn't really care too much about his character and what he kind of brought. I thought he was kind of corny, trying to be cool, and it doesn't really play well. I can I can tell someone who has swag and who doesn't. I didn't really think he had it, but no, I don't I mean I don't want anyone to, to pass away. You know, it was like, oh my gosh, you know. Yeah, um, I, I, I did like they gave yeah. him those homages in the movie, oh, yeah. right? Yeah, definitely. Um, but it didn't take it away from me as far as like enjoyment because they have the Rock. Mm -hmm. He's 007 or I don't know what his yeah, position he's is. 00 Superman. No, They're like, no. if you get caught, nothing we can do for you. I'm yeah. like, what? <laughs> No, yeah. he's he's soccer mom now. <laughs> oh, yeah. it, the Rock was pretty good. I the opening scene with that is yeah. great. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I but, love the whole little ha. Yeah, yeah. Nah, 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 nah. like that was like dope, intimidating the other little girls. Yeah, yeah. And he's like in there with them. Like, why are you in there with them? Like, yeah. of course you're going to be intimidating to the other little girls. Right. You should be on the sideline <laughs> while they do that. Yeah. He's like ha. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to play no more. <laughs> right. But I, it was it was a great, like, you know, a little playful. And it was it was a yeah. more playful movie this time. It definitely yeah. was. Yeah, there there was uh, really good um, you know, comedic relief parts, you know. And you you had that from The Rock and Jason Statham going on, and then you had that from um uh Tyrese and uh Ludacris going on, you know. Yeah, yeah. so I, I enjoyed it. it. If I had to rate it, I would probably give it an eight. It was it, five is my favorite. Five is my favorite, and then one, but five was just because they had that twist at the end. Yeah, this one is pretty much on the same line as far as like six and seven. Yeah. they're pretty much on par, you know. So I I enjoyed them. Right, I would give it an eight. It's not like oh my gosh, but yeah, it, it it's like fast cars. He doesn't like fast cars. Yeah, you know what. Uh, and I can't, I can't say that this is my favorite one. I would say part one and then part five um, because, I don't know, it's just nostalgic for me. Yeah. Th this movie, now, the only thing I have to say is they do make Jason Statham part of the team. And the only problem with that, though, is that he killed Han. Yeah. And, you know, like, how do you forgive that? <clears throat> you know? You they don't killed, address that. They, they, they really don't address it very well, you know? And um, I had a problem with that. You know, it's just like it, it was it was a big deal because Tokyo Drift and everything and he died pretty brutally. Right. And he said, I'm coming out for the rest of your team. I blowed up your house, almost killed Brian's son and yeah, right. all this yeah. other stuff happened. You know, he tried to kill the entire team and he's just part of the family now. Yeah, I, I agree with you on that. I feel like at least him and Toretto should have fought it out and then come to an understanding. Right. But just to be like, <clears throat> it doesn't matter. I don't like that. It isn't to me. To um, it's not enough redemption. I keep saying his name. I want to say Loretto. Loretto. Toretto. 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 Toretto would hold a grudge. Oh, okay. definitely. He's not gonna ever forget that. And yeah. the fact that they wrote it to where he just forgot and didn't care. Mm -hmm. Like what? Yes. Yeah. But it didn't take away from the movie. But it was yeah. just like. Mm. Well, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be more. Like, I mean, they like they're, I don't know. I, as far as I've heard, that there's gonna be probably like one or two more. Yes. So, yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure that they'll bring some stuff up because they all realize that. But this movie, as far as the rating go, coming from me, mm -hmm. I haven't watched the other one, so I have nothing to compare it to. Yeah. I've watched the the first three, 
and this beats the third one by a little mile. Yeah. So um, it's getting a nine for me. I, I enjoyed it. I laughed. I enjoyed it. I love the family aspect because I myself very, very close to my friends, mm -hmm. and I see them all as brothers and sisters. So that's kind of just, it, it hits the nerve I'm right the there. you brother? You're my brother. Brother, appreciate that. Yeah. Another mother. Yes. So we're gonna cry. Kodak, right now. Um, no, yeah, definitely. I enjoyed the movie. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, with that being said, you know, with those things, I'm, I'll give it an eight though because I did enjoy it, and I think that mm. the D box seats that was really fun. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, worth yeah. it. Yeah. I think uh, just overall going to see a movie that has a lot of experience. Yeah, uh, I, I say everyone should. If you have an opportunity, it's gonna be more. Yeah, but it's gonna be an experience that you don't really get. Yeah. You know, so if you're going to be, you know, come out the pocket, you might as well just go a little bit more yeah. and then get that actual, like, Yeah, I did catch uh, uh, somebody else try to come down, uh, like, towards the end of the movie and, like, be in one of those seats, <laughs> but it, it just wasn't working, so he was just, like, like struggling with it, like, <laughs> like how come it's working for them? Yeah. <laughs> so, it's like, yeah. just a couple more bucks and just... Try it out. Yep. So we would recommend it. Go see it. It's yep, breaking records it. for a reason. Absolutely. So yeah. you might as well see what the hype is about. So if you're like this guy, you just haven't watched one since the third one, which I can understand. Yeah. Go see this one. Did you watch Tokyo Drift? I did. <laughs> <laughs> so I can understand. I get it. Um, so, all right, guys. That is our review on the Fate of the Furious. Fate. Yeah. Loved it. <laughs> Let's watch yeah. it again. I would definitely watch it again for sure. Yeah. Um, it's going to be part of my collection, at least. Oh, yeah. 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 All right, guys. So, please like, share, subscribe. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. Question of the day. Do you think that Toretto should have forgave Jason Statham's character? I don't know his name. And just moved on? Or is that a flaw in the writing? Let us know what you guys think, guy. All right. I'm your boy, DeAnthony. Adan. See Jack. And we are out, baby. Peace. Peace. Break room, bliss for life. <laughs> <laughs>